Well, this is a kilted Texan, and I wanted to show you that uh, doing a road trip from San Antonio area to Nashville in the ID4, and we're just making things happen. So we're doing a uh, little emergency run up to Nashville here today. So we're starting a little late in the evening. Uh, this is the first charge of the day. Um, I guess it's about 10 o'clock at night and got the ID4 cranked up. We ran about 75, 80 all the way here. So uh, we were down to about 16% and we're charging up now. And we're uh, apparently this uh, EA station's had a little bit of issues. So, you know, wish us luck and uh, we'll see you when we get uh, into Roy City. Well, this is the first stop of the night and there's three, I average three miles per kilowatt hour, 63 miles an hour, ran 75 and 80 some of the way here um and uh didn't do too bad 151 miles rolled in at 52 percent or 52 miles remaining and let's see 16 percent so we're going to start at 16 percent and see what the charging curve does and uh, this is in waco bell mead texas all right well it took us just a second to get this thing cranked up and a young gentleman next to us over here says that these uh, chargers have been having some issues. So if this kicks off in a minute or two, we're gonna have to call that phone number and let them go ahead and initiate that charge. But uh, we're charging at 107 right now. It's a little down on the 125 max that we have available, 125 kilowatt max you see down there in the lower left. But uh, we're doing 107 and 125. So she's doing all right. And uh, we'll be out of here probably about Oh, probably about 25 maybe 30 minutes and uh, our target charge is going to be 68 percent to make it up to Roy City to the next set of chargers so uh, we got the old ID4 just cranking away and as you can see here's the estimate by the ABRP or a better route planner and looks like I was only supposed to spend about 27 minutes there I spent 28 minutes and 23 seconds and ended up actually getting 71 percent uh, I left with 71% of the charge. So uh, keep that in mind when I arrive at Roy City. Well, now we've arrived in Roy City, Texas, at 12%. Run a total now of 278 miles and we're averaging 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, right now, we are gonna go ahead and charge up. So we had 31 miles to go before we were El Dedzo. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this sucker up. And uh, this one, I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to stay here for a long time or whether or not I'm just going to go ahead and make it a short, a short charge hop to the next one. Because right now we're, we're listed to stay here for about an hour. And there she is. She's charging up. You can see that line going across there. I'm going to be cranking up some good speeds. Let's see what we're actually charging at right now. A little cold out here today it's about 40 well, i say cold it's cool out here today it's about 42 degrees so let's see oh we're seeing 124. that's what i like to see so again we're here in roy city um i'm gonna go ahead and probably make myself a little uh chicken tortilla and uh have a nice little chow back here and maybe break out one of my uh Gold Peak Tees, because I, I do like that. And uh, I might lean my head back, because I think this is supposed to be a larger ch charging session. This one's supposed to be like almost an hour, right at right at an hour. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sucker do her business, and uh, maybe put my head back and take a little bit of a nap. So uh, join you when we actually get back underway. And we are here again in Royce City, just, uh, just slightly east of Dallas is where we're at. Now, ABRP said I was going to show up with 10%. I showed up with 12 and then I was going to leave with 97% after 57 minutes. I actually left with 98% after 56 minutes and 26 seconds. Well, we pulled into Hope, Arkansas here after 176 miles and 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, Average 67 miles an hour. I just saw it switch back to 66 because I haven't shut the car off yet. So we're averaging in my stalled speed here. Uh, Pulled in with 13% left, 
and showing 26 miles of range remaining. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook up here and get her charged up. Uh, this one is a short stop. I think we're only going to like 65% or something like that. All right, the battery must be a little bit cold because we're going 34, 35. Hopefully she'll ramp up here pretty quick. She needs to speed up because I may have to change stations if this is the speed we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go inside, crank up the heater because it's about 30, I think it's 33 degrees right now. So we're going to crank up the heater and we're going to see if we can't speed this up. Well, I moved over to another charger. Let's see. That's getting better. The other one was only hanging out right out around 36 kilowatts. So now we're cooking. Now I'm going to get back in here and warm up a scotch because I'm freezing my begonias. Now we got the charging going. So don't be afraid to switch stations if you end up getting a crappy charging curve. So, you know, it'll save you a lot of time. You know, 36 kilowatt, we're charging three times faster than we were on the other one. So don't be afraid to change stations. Now, as you saw, uh, I had to switch stations. Now I did six minutes on the first station, and of course it took a minute or two to change. And then I did 30 minutes on the uh, next station, 30 minutes and 28 seconds, and got up to 65% by the time I left. So uh, it was a little bit longer because I switched the stations, but you know, Switching stations is not a bad thing. Sometimes you got to do it. All right. Well, we made it to Little Rock. You see, we averaged 67 miles per hour. That uh, miles per kilowatt hour was a little rough. Actually, had to run the heat just a little bit. Got down, you know, 32, 31, and uh, of course, running 70 miles an hour and it, it kind of uphill. We were gaining altitude just about the entire way. So, uh, so yeah, we arrived with 16% state of charge and showing 45 miles of range remaining when we got here. So this particular stop, we're gonna go ahead and crank her up. I uh, got the heater going to try to make sure that the battery stays warm and see if, what kind of speeds we can get out of this dude. And get out of here as quick as possible. And now we got all the clicks and whirs. And look at there, we're seeing 113, 112. We're doing all right. So the speed's not too bad here, here in uh, Little Rock. Um, probably get a little bit of heat in the battery. She'll probably speed up a little bit more. But we'll go inside and we'll watch it because right now my breath is sending up fog and I don't have a jacket with me so uh, this is a fun time so yeah I was having a little bit of trouble keeping my eyes awake so I'll probably lean back here and and uh, close my eyes for about 15 20 minutes maybe set an alarm just get a little uh, get a little uh, tired time and maybe put my head up against a headrest with a pillow and chill out a little bit while this thing charges up uh, next stop, I believe, is Jackson, Arkansas. Um, actually, yeah, I believe it's Jackson. So uh, I guess we'll see you all there. And uh, uh, we'll hopefully arrive there with a little bit warmer temperatures and a little bit better efficiency. Now, I was only supposed to go to 55%, but I fell asleep and went to 68% charge. All right, we arrived here at Forest City, Arkansas and uh looks like it was not too far uh, let's see 98 miles from little rock and we booked it over here pretty good so we only got 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour we were running 77 miles an hour and running the heat and everything else all the way here so you know we were average 68 but uh we made it all the way here and uh i think Let's see, we're at 15% state of charge and had 30 miles left of range when we actually arrived here at River Forest. And this, this is 
not the greatest of Walmarts, but it's going to work and it's going to get us charged up. And uh, we'll head on to the next one. Well, looks like here in Forest City, we're doing 115 kilowatt. Looks like the battery isn't quite all the way up to temperature. But I don't know if you can see down there. But we will crank up and away and we'll get us out of here and the next stop is Jackson uh, I believe it's Jackson Tennessee we're gonna make it through Memphis and then to Jackson Tennessee now, I was only supposed to go to 68% but I went straight to 80% but we bombed it all the way through uh, super fast to Jackson Tennessee so we burned a little bit more juice all right so this current run here 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour we're averaging over the whole entire run 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour for the last 127 miles with an average of 67 miles per hour rolled in here into Jackson Tennessee at 20 percent and somebody's got a rump rump cam that's awesome so uh, had 54 miles left to charge so I, I overshot there because we were apparently coming downhill a little bit. So we're going to get plugged in and then this is the last stop before Nashville. Supposed to go to 72%. I ended up going to 74% uh, and took me 29 minutes to actually make that charge. And then it was on to Nashville. Well, made it here to Nashville and plugged her into one of these Clipper Creeks here at the hotel. So uh, I'll get in here and show you the dash and we'll find our final numbers rolled in with 19 percent and that was since the start 909 miles 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour average 56 mile per hour average 16 hours and 26 minutes and looky there Last one was a two hour drive, 127 miles, 65 mile an hour average with 3.0 miles per kilowatt hour. Now a lot of that was downhill. So we are good to go and arrive safe. So in conclusion, the total that ABRP had estimated was a total of like 314 kilowatt hours. Um, I can add those up here just really quick. According to uh, Electrify America, I actually did 292 kilowatt hours for the entire trip. Um, it estimated three hours and 18 minutes for charging time. I'd say that's probably about accurate. Uh, it also said 914 miles. It was 909 when we actually put in the, the actual destination and, and start point. Um, and then about 13 hours of drive time. I think I might have cut that a little short because I accidentally overcharged in a couple of locations, so I went ahead and I bumped up the speed a little to compensate. Now, a couple of things you're gonna need. I was a road trip, electrified, electrified road trip virgin. This is my first time to do an electric road trip. And I took some advice and I got the A Better Route Planner app for my phone. Now, you don't have to do that, but what I would recommend is at least check the website, the A Better Route Planner website. You have the ability to create an account, but you don't have to. It's not required. But you can go on there, plan out your trip, and actually print out your details, print out this little you know, Excel spreadsheet looking thing here with all of your data so that you can figure it out where to go, how to get there, you know, how long it's gonna be, and all those good things. And that'll estimate your trip out for you. And it's pretty good. It's pretty accurate. And it's also customizable to the different cars. So that is a must if you're going to be planning electric road trips. So again, this was my first time. I actually had fun and I thought it was nice to stop every once in a while. I had a cooler full of stuff in the back that I could, you know, I could go get me a, a Gold Peak Diet Tea and a, a you know, a, a little fajita taco kind of thing and all that good stuff. So it was great for me. I enjoyed it. It made the trip actually a little bit less stressful than when I try to do 800 miles straight in my diesel excursion. So uh, just letting you know that it's out there. And if you enjoyed it, you know, would you consider subscribing? Um, and if you're going to crash, crash into that like button and nowhere else. Uh, keep the rubber side down and we'll talk to you the next time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.